Welcome to the Wayne County Literacy Coaching Network. What follows is an overview of the professional learning and networking that occurred on October 15th, 2019. This production is made possible by Wayne Risa and the Wayne County Literacy Learning Network and is part of our larger initiative to connect the work being done during our networking meetings back to the administrators whose commitment to literacy coaching makes our work possible. Welcome to Interconnectedness. Your ideas will braid with ours. Our perspectives will expand. Welcome to Deep Learning. We will dive into the MESA GLN Essential Coaching Practices for Elementary Literacy, as well as the Essential Instructional Practices in Early Literacy Instruction. Welcome to Community. The conversations we began in October will continue throughout this school year and beyond. Reach out. Our work is uplifted when we know there are others, many others, who understand the complexity of coaching. Welcome to a time of productive struggle. These networking meetings are safe learning zones where we will seek clarity through collaboration. As we embark on another year of coaching, it's important to pause and consider what exactly a network is. According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, a network is a fabric or structure of cords or wires that cross at regular intervals and are knotted or secured at the crossings. Our greatest hope is that each one of you find this crossing a way to be secured for the powerful work you will do. The knotting and securing comes from our regional connectedness and willingness to empower yourselves through this network. In order to make the most of our time together, we've established a framework for this year's coaching network. The framework consists of each of the following components. Book and module studies. Coaching conundrums and coaching scenarios. Local, state, and federal updates. As well as forums and professional readings, all focused on literacy content and coaching skills. Let's take a moment to look into each component of our framework in a bit more detail. We will be engaging in book studies throughout the year. Coaches will choose the title that most appeals to them given their current role or position. Choices for these book studies include works by Jim Knight, Elena Aguilar, and Susan Lallier, as well as texts focused on coaching conversations and how to become a literacy leader. Another priority will be to connect coaches with opportunities to partner with one another as they dive into the literacy essentials and or coaching modules created by MESA and GLN and available through Michigan Virtual and EduPaths. These modules are powerful tools that can be used to increase individual capacity and overall understanding of the essentials. These small group studies truly allow us to customize the learning based on individual need and interest. In addition to the small group studies, the network as a whole will engage in shared professional readings. By diving into current articles and resources, we can continue to learn and grow. This also provides an opportunity to share protocols that the coaches may take back to use in their schools and or districts. Throughout the year, literacy will be our focus. Through the intentional gathering of data and feedback from the network, we will endeavor to focus on the content that local coaches identify as being most relevant. That said, we will begin by focusing on meaningful vocabulary and writing instruction, as those are the areas the network overwhelmingly identified as current needs. One of the greatest benefits of networking is that we can share our coaching conundrums and seek feedback from our coaching colleagues. These conundrums are not only relevant, but they offer opportunities for individual reflection on the issues that face our fellow educators, which in turn strengthens our relationships. We will also participate in various activities involving real life coaching scenarios. Through the use of videos and role playing, coaches will have a chance to analyze how specific scenarios play out and what might be done to improve the outcomes. Given the importance of making connections, we will reserve a portion of each meeting for a share out of updates 
that have the potential to impact the work we do. Finally, we will provide the space and opportunity for network coaches to come together to discuss and reflect on relevant topics such as relationships, equity, assessment, as well as a variety of specific coaching practices. It is our sincere hope that by leveraging the collective expertise of the network, we will all be better prepared to address these needs within our individual contexts. Our Wayne County Coaching Network is one way that we are actively supporting literacy. We would like to reinforce that our work in Wayne County was in large part inspired by the state's theory of action. To learn more about this state level work, we encourage you to visit literacyessentials.org. Using the state's work as a guide, the Literacy Learning Network advisory team, made up of local curriculum directors and superintendents, developed a Wayne County Literacy Theory of Action. We are excited to be part of your work to embed and sustain quality professional learning through the use of instructional coaches. No matter what stage of implementation you find yourself, we are here to help. Please reach out to Colleen Whalen or Mary Lou Strumble with any questions regarding the network. Thank you for partnering with us. Together, we are more than a single corridor fabric. Through shared learning and experiences, we become knotted together in a secure manner, forming a cohesive network.